All righty. Hey, everybody. We're live here, Patty Ann and the rest of the Digi Club group. And we're so excited that y'all came and joined us today. Hey, Digi Club ladies, wave. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, while we're waiting for some more people to get here, if you wouldn't mind sharing this so we can have more people coming, we are going to have some giveaways during the show. So hopefully you'll be joining us. And the way you'll be entered in the giveaway is if you comment, because we're going to hope that Nightbot's going to choose our winners. If not, we will choose them randomly later on. But so I want to give a shout out to Dina at Digi Doodle Studios for creating the super cute stamps that we're using today and her website will be linked actually i could probably do that right now put it at the bottom of our screen so y'all could see here's where our stamp came from and it's called a winter's tale right now until the end of this evening at midnight eastern time all of her stamps are 25 percent off so if you're interested in getting this right now run over there and get it and work along with us or you know get it later but anyway, thank you, Dina, for allowing us to use your digital stamps for this. Additionally, I want to um, give a shout out to a really cool organization that we uh, sponsor, not sponsor, we help. It's a charity. It's called Cards for Kids. And it's all about helping kids and elderly people. And I'll just read you the short blurb that they have on their website. And I'll have the link for that one down below, maybe also in a bit. But what it says is Cards for Kids is a nonprofit organization that hand delivers hope and love by cards to sick and recovering children, elderly, traumatized patients, not only in the United States, so you guys, all across the world. If you go to their website, you can look and see everywhere that they go. And I'm telling you, they have places all over the world that they give these cards to and it, to provide emotional comfort and support via our handmade cards. So if you like make cards and sometimes you just wanna make them and don't know what to do with them, Cards for Kids would love to have cards from you. Uh, let's see. Also, most importantly, I need to give the biggest shout out to Tammy. Y'all, let's give Tammy a hand. If it weren't for Tammy, right? We could not do all of this. She is our just our right hand girl knows everything about the computer, jazz, she, she's just a whiz. And we couldn't do this without Tammy. So thanks, Tammy. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, let's see. Oh, so, okay, let's get the thing started. I'm going to have the ladies introduce themselves and have, and actually maybe at the same time they can say where they're from and what machine they use, whether they use a cricket, silhouette, scan and cut, whatever. And this is just to give people time to join us before they start working. So we'll just start with Beth. Just let us know where you're from. And <laughs> hey, hello. Beth. Hi, I'm from Cordova, Alabama. It's a little town. Of, we're just a little north of Birmingham. I use the Cameo and I have the Silhouette Studio Business Edition software. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see, Joni. Hi, I'm Joni, and uh, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and uh, I also use the Silhouette uh, Business Edition software with my Cameo 4, and I also have a maker, but I don't really use it because I love this program so much, and uh, that's it. Okay, okay, great. All right, let's see. Who do I have next on my list? I did go in alphabetical order. Linda. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Um, my name is Linda. I'm from Maryland. And um, I have the Cameo 4, Silhouette Cameo 4. I love the software. I as well have the business edition. In addition to that machine, I started with Brother Scan and Cut machines. I, I really love the, that Scan and Cut feature, but... Hand and I also have a Cricut maker, but hands down, it's the Cameo Business Edition, the software and the machine that um, I favor. So nice to be with y'all. <laughs> All right, and Stephanie. Yay! Hi, Hi my name's Stephanie. I live in a little village called Freckleson in Lancashire, in England. Um, I have a Cricut Explore, and I use the Silhouette Business Edition software, which I absolutely love for designing all my cards. Right. Okay. So all of you that do have cricket machines and you use those 
just cricket, understand that these ladies are going to be some of them uh, cutting their things or they will have cut them and uh, with their crickets, but they design what they're doing with their silhouette software. So let's see, what else did I have on here? Don't forget about the sale if you want to get the um, stamps at 25% off. And let's see. Oh, yeah. And comment, 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 because we are going to do a few giveaways, actually four today. And it'll be based on the comments that you guys have done. So without further ado, let's see. Can Tammy and I will be monitoring your questions. So if you have any questions to ask the designers, let us know then. So without further ado, ladies, you can get started and just pop in and start chatting away. <laughs> I have printed my uh, digi stamps and I'm just going to color them now with my markers. Looks like Stephanie's doing some coloring too. Yes, I've done most of it because I didn't think I would give us long enough to do it. So I have done most of the coloring. Just thought I'd do a little bit to start with. Okay, and if any of you ladies want to uh, turn off your, your uh, computer cameras now so that we just see your hands and what you're doing, you're welcome to do that. So that way we'll have a bigger screen of everybody. Yes, Joan asked, are they all using the same stamp set? Yes, they are. Each one was given the exact same stamp set. And it's the one called, what was it called again? Here it is on the banner. It's Winter called, Parable. Winter Winter's Tale. Tale. And it's from Digi Doodle Studios. So they're all using the exact same one. But if you can make your screen really big, you can see. And Linda, do you want to mute your or hide your camera as well, your uh, computer camera? Wait, just, turn, now maybe we, just turn it off. Just No, just say stop cam. <gasps> Whoopsie, that's okay. I just, I just closed out. Okay, that's fine too. But you yeah. won't be able to see them what everybody else is doing. Oh, I can see people. Oh, you can. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right, cool. All so right. I was, was going to say about my card, if you don't mind. Um, I did just the straight. I can't see. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Let's see if I, okay. I just did a basic flat card just to show the flexibility of the Silhouette uh, software. And then I'm going to show you that I also printed out little bits of it and where you can just cut it out on the silhouette machine as soon as it shows it. I'm a little behind times here. But anyway, the, um, you can make the little birds big, little, whatever size you need. So here I've printed off the uh, a bigger, just to show you the, the detail that you can get the silhouette. Turn it the other way. Up, turn it upside down. Yeah, that's right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Johnny, we have a question from Betsy. She wants to know, did you stamp on the card? No, I print it. You, it's called print and then cut from the Silhouette software. And it's it's just great because you just, besides when you get the digi stamps, you're, you're stuck with one size. But with the Silhouette, you can adjust your sizes like I've shown here on the, I'm getting ready to cut it out for you. And I put a bleed on it. But uh, I've made these bigger just so you can see the details a little bit better. Like here, I've added a plaid to the little bird's hat, uh, plaid uh, seamless uh, print, and that's in my silhouette as well. But you can go online and grab anything you want. You know, I could have uh, done anything with this bird. And here I made the little uh, mailbox. I made it bigger so you can see the better detail of it. So I'll cut it out, and I'll be right back. Okay, sweet. Lisa says she needs to know more about the software, Patty. Okay, so we have this. We all use the Silhouette software for our Cricut machines or your Scanicut or your Cameo, obviously. Um, you get the free version first, and I'll have a link for it down below this video of uh, the best price that you can get for it. And then after you get the free version, and Tammy, you're probably better than I'd explain this. Why don't you take it over from here? <laughs> Okay, so uh, to start with, go and uh, to the, Patty's got the link down below, I think. If you go and um, 
download the free version of Silhouette Studio. You want to create your name and password and be sure to remember that. Then if Patty also has a link where you can get the software from um, Swing Design um, at a really better cost. I haven't checked it out lately, but somewhere in the neighborhood of $60 or so. And then you will go back into your Silhouette uh, basic edition and go to help and when you click on help you'll scroll down and you'll see where it gives you the option to update the um, software and there will be a place for your code there and you'll put the code that you get in there and it will automatically um, have the silhouette business edition in there for you and it's an awesome program. It's definitely uh, what you need if you're going to create your own designs and put offsets or do rhinestones or whatever. It's just it's well worth the price, the one time small price that you pay. I think I just put the link in there. I'm not exactly yeah, sure. It's it's in there. Oh, see it? Okay. Yeah. What, okay, Beth, what pens are you using? Nidra would like to know. The pens that I'm using, uh, I don't have the expensive ones. These are Master Touch from Hobby Lobby when they had a 50% off sale, and these were on 50%. So these are just the the Master's Touch is the name brand. Cool. Johnny, Betsy wants to know if you, um, the first card you showed where it was on the slimline card no. she wants to know if you just printed the whole that one yeah did you print the whole design on there yes i did and then i've i went and uh accented it with some stickles mm -hmm. just to brighten it up make give us a little bit of dimension but you could definitely uh pop up you know cut another one out and pop it up another mailbox or whatever you can add more birds or it, i mean i can look when you got that, there's only one envelope, right? You made all those envelopes and made them different sizes and organized them so they would look like they were falling. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So, like, here it is right here. This That's is what she called it was one envelope. And then I just, uh, would, you wouldn't believe if you've used Cricut how easy this is, unlike Cricut. But you just drag it, you just all and uh, drag it, and you just can make as many as you want. And then you can adjust the sizes. Because I tried to make them look like they were falling and got they bigger. Do. <laughs> so that's so awesome. Yeah. So anyway, so like I say, you can you know add, add anything you want after it's flat and adjust it to the way you like it. Yeah. And here's, I just got done cutting it off the uh, the big bird, as you say, off the cricket. And here is the cut. They come off really simple. Yeah. All right. Stephanie, what are you doing? I'm making a frame for my card. Um, I did cut it out and score it before we started because, as I say, I think it would take too long to do, but it, it will actually be a frame um, that the card will will fit in and it will have um, these little doors will go on it when it's finished. Would you mind showing them what your finished prototype looks like? See, we've, we've been playing around because that'll give them an idea of what they're going to watch you make, if you don't mind, if you have it right there. It's similar to this. It's upside oh. down. There you go. Yeah, because yeah. So it's it's sort of got a little band to close the door. Um, and then when you open it. Look how beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Right? So you're gonna watch her make that too. <laughs> and Linda, what are you what are, what's going on up there? <laughs> uh, well, I've um I finished the um the map for the front of this card and i didn't use the standard size it's um, a four and a quarter by five and a quarter for the mat and um now i'm going to work on the pop-up mechanism do you want to see the prototype finish oh sure yes okay this is Stephanie, they're saying it's gorgeous and pretty okay those it's always the same um a little different than oh the other look one. oh see. Okay, so Linda's going to show how she made this using those digi stamps. Yep, she can I make them any it. size. And um, for the, I use the digi stamp. I cut off the snow on the digi stamp, and I actually 
pulled in a pattern. I made two different size bird houses and used a cedar, it's like a cedar shake uh, pattern to make the house look cedar. See? Mm -hmm, that's gorgeous. So anyway, and I, I took a, I altered it a little teeny bit, but um, anyway, and then I'm having a good time with this uh, mechanism that has to go into the, into the pop-up um, part of the car. So, Brian now. <laughs> and Beth, what what are you yes. doing there? <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm adding some glitter to my the little branch where the snow is. I, I put a little bit of mm -hmm. uh, glitter glue and then I added glitter and I did that to their little puff balls on their some of their hats just to add some sparkle. Cute. Joan says, what kind of what type of glue is everyone using? Oh, I have that the glitter glue. I've art glitter also. Okay. I'm using tattered lace for one of them because it dries clear. So on the box, it won't show. And the other one is just um, a PVA glue, just a basic PVA glue, not an expensive one, but it works well. Hmm. Yeah. That glue from uh, the dollar store is not too bad either. It dries clear. It's, I've used it on some things. Have you ever tried that? Yes, I, I have. In the past, I've used it. I think it's called Eileen's or Eileen's. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm going to start to try to do our first little uh, gift certificate winner. And so what I'm going to do, and I've never done this before, y'all, so be patient, is we're using Nightbot because I saw he came in and he told you about special Patreon pricing up above for our classes. So what I'm going to do now, I believe I just hit roll it. And what y'all have to do is try to guess a secret word that has to do with what we're doing today. And the first one that guesses the word, supposedly Nightbot will alert us. And you will be our first winner. So I'm going to say roll it and we'll see what happens. So as soon as I say go, just start typing in some words that you think maybe might be the word that's the first secret word of the day. So, okay. I, I rolled it now, but I don't think it's working. It said Lisa Carcaran. Yeah, I don't know why it said giveaway. That, that's okay. Whoever Lisa is, I'm not sure why you want it, but you want our first one if you're really here. Lisa, are you here? I don't know why it did that because you were supposed to have guessed. Okay, we have a ton. We have some that's saying glitter, digi nope. stamps, digi clad, glue, rhinestone, cards, stamping, digi stamping, Christmas, card making, digi, yes. Lisa says, glue, gifts, cards, mixed media. And you remember what it is, Tammy, right? Card stock, winter, winter. Nope. Bird. Nope. Keep going. Has to do with uh, holiday, paper, envelope, mailbox. Should I give them a clue on this first one? Yeah. Okay. It's the kind of stamps we're using. Ah. But it's Didn't not that it. short word. Simple washi tape, fun, cards for kids. What kind of stamp are we using, people? There you go. Lisa got it. Well, she's done one. So no, it was supposed to be digital because we had the whole word. So was Marianne the first one? Um. Joan, yeah, because Joan came after her, or Joanne. Digital. Okay, we've got a bunch of digital now, but the very first digital, I think, was Marianne. Yeah, so we'll, what I'm looking we'll, at. We can go back and check that later. I'll put her name down for now. And I don't know why Nightbot didn't work. He already. He already yeah, he done it one time and he left us. Right. <laughs> so it's okay because I can look. Okay, and we'll that's do it cool. Okay. Fine. So hold on, don't go anywhere. We'll have another one shortly. Yes, got four of them. So Mary Ann, you'll need to, Are you're in our Facebook groups, right? You can uh, message us. Or better yet, why don't you email teampattyann at gmail.com? Because we'll need your email address so we can send you your prize. All right. Yeah. 
Okay, that was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Night thought, you stinker. All right. Okay, so Stephanie, what are you doing now? What is that thing? I don't I've not used those before. Um, it's blending and blending ink. Um, oh. I'm putting it on a blending mat first so that it doesn't end up with lots on it, the cardstock, so I can just sort of very lightly go over it and it doesn't end up with lots of sort of splodgy marks on it. Yeah, so Judy was asking the same thing. We were wondering, what are you use, using on your card? Um, it's distressed inks. Okay. And, and I find it easier if I, dab, if I dab it onto the mat first and then just gently keep going round so it picks it up, but it's not you know, so you're not splodging loads on and ending up with great big splodgy marks. Just right. to sort of go over it very lightly to start with. Um, and then it blends nicely without leaving marks. I'm not cool. quite sure doing very well. Um, my lighting's not brilliant. No, no, your lighting's as good as it can be. Okay. This is just hard. So but you're yeah, just all that. Going on it lightly like that, you don't end up with lots of sort of like um, right. ends that are a dark ink colour. Okay, there you go. Oh, so Nightbot's now still talking, but of course he didn't do our contest <laughs> properly. <laughs> yeah, no I didn't tell you to say that, Nightbot. I wanted you to do the contest. <laughs> You're fired, Nightbot. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Anybody have any other questions for the ladies? Uh, Linda, I got a question. Tell us about that tool, those two tools that you love. Oh, that I, I'm love, trying I love my pickup out. tools. Yeah. Yes. And, and the I, pokey. <laughs> yeah, I, I love, I love, see this, um, this is uh, one of the, uh, the tip of this tool has a little bit of putty in it and there's a screw mechanism you can turn to uh, bring more out when it um, dries. So I just, I can move all these little objects very easily from one place to another. And um, what's the other tool that I love? It's the, called the pokey tool. And where's my pokey tool? Here it is. So when I'm, um, when I'm picking something up with the putty tool, with the pickup tool, and then I want to put it down, I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to put it here for real, but if I put it, I do put it down. And then I use the pokey tool to release it. And it's very, very easy to manipulate. You can learn very quickly how to manipulate the two <laughs> if you want to. If you want to. <laughs> Better, unless you have very long fingernails. I do not. <laughs> and, and also this reverse uh, tweezers, too. They're kind of great. Yeah, they're nice. I love the reverse tweezers. I use those often as well. So, yeah, that's about the long and short of it. Mike. Okay. Okay. And Joan, Joan, Joan yeah. oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go. Joan wants to know if any of you use the die cutting machine. Oh, yeah. But I, in this, in I this project, cutting, no, I, I did not use it in this project. Right. I used it for embossing. Yes, me, I did too. I embossed my border. Yeah, and I used it for embossing as well. I do use it quite a lot though, normally, but not in this. I haven't done any in this project. Only embossing. Yeah. Which embossing uh, machines do you guys use? I've got the Vagabond and the Gemini. Both are electric. And then I have a hot shot as well that's manual. Okay. Yeah. I've got I have the big I have the big shot and it is manual also. Okay. Steph? I've got a cut and boss and it's electronic one and it's a wide mouth, so it will take the really deep dyes as well. Oh, oh cool. And Joni, do you use one? Yeah, I have one at the uh, Gemini Junior. Okay. So do any of you have yours available that in case some of our viewers have not seen one, you could show how it works? <laughs> Mine's in another room because I'm I'm like I'm like oozing into another room. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I got too much stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, John, oh. Go ahead. I I have one I can pull up here if somebody wants to see yeah, it. Yeah, who wants to see it? Yeah. I got one. Yeah. Just take a hot second. Okay, cool. Okay. And Bernie just woke up, 6.20 a.m. here, Monday. Where are you from, Bernie? Holy cow. 6.20 a.m. Is that, where would that be, y'all? Australia? <laughs> oh, that's right. The rest of you, let us know where you're watching from. That's kind of cool. Joanne wants to know, Stephanie, did you use falling? 
Yes, um, on this I've used um, a laminator to print the uh, digi stamps off. And um, sorry, um, I've used a laminator when I've actually printed it on a laser printer. Um, but the peace, joy, and love is actually with a stamp, and then I've heat embossed that. Okay. Mm. Uh, Bernie from Lockdown, Melbourne, Australia. Ah. Okay, look, we got people from all over. Let's see. Lockdown is from Michigan. I made my mistake, and I'm fixing it. <laughs> North Georgia. Here's, Cambridge, Ontario, here's this big shot. This big. Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh huh. This Sandy. Yeah. Tina, where are you from? That it's 4 30. Oh, PM, PM. I thought it said I thought you said AM. I was like, wait a minute. Joanne's from Cambridge, Ontario. And Sam is from Vancouver, Washington. And Lisa's from coastal North Carolina. And Roxy, Roxana Clark is from Michigan. Hey Roxy. Okay. Uh, Jay Haas is from Ohio and New Brunswick, Canada for Tina. Betsy's from Middleburg, Virginia. And Mary is from Iowa. Lou Ellen was from Lake Tippy. I don't know if you said her, but anyway, and Bernie said we've been in lockdown for 12 weeks now. Yo, Bernie, I think we've been in lockdown longer than that here in my area since like, well, no, no, we're not in lockdown anymore. I'm sorry. Y'all aren't out of, allowed out of your houses. <laughs> Jeez. So let's see. Mamie, where? Fuque, Varina, North Carolina. I have no idea where that is or how to say it. Huh. And and John, 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 Go ahead. No. Oh, look at Stephanie's got going on up there. Y'all watching this? Oh, my goodness. I'm getting some hardiness. So let's see. Oh, my scissors. I don't know how to pronounce that one. I don't either, but you're from Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> so also tell us in the comments, what do y'all use? Silhouette, cricket, scan and cut as you're watching. And also let us know if you have some questions for the ladies. I think I'm going to try Nightbot again in a minute, but I'm not going to say roll, right? I'm going to try it again. And I'm going to make a different word. <laughs> Sam says they use the cricket. Joan uses a cricket. Tina uses a silhouette. Mamie uses a cameo. Lisa uses a cricket maker. Jay Haas uses a silhouette. Uh, a A Granny Grana A. I don't know how to say it. Uh, she says she's never made a card, but she uses a cricket. Bernie uses a cricket maker. Judy uses a cameo, and Roxy a cricket, and Joanna uses a cricket to cut. Okay, silhouette to design. Yes, we all like to use the silhouette to design. Silhouette to design, definitely. Oh, Nidra uses both. Okay, so how do I do this then? Do I just not say go or anything? He just does it. I think she said you got to say roll with it. Uh oh. No, no, she said if I just say roll, that chooses the right person. Oh, wait. Oh, see, wait. We're up to. All right. I have no idea. Okay, try this. All right, we're going to try this again. And if it doesn't work, we'll figure out some other way to do it. So I have another word. Has something to do with what we're doing today, of course. Um, so just start typing some words into the, uh, the, the chat area, the comment, the, yeah. the comment section, and um, maybe he'll choose one if one of you gets the right one. If not, Tammy and I know what it is, so we can go back and see what it is or who got it first. Okay, y'all go. Start guessing. Start guessing what our word is. If you guess it right, you'll win the next gift certificate that we will email to you. Okay. And oh, <laughs> we got tweet. Wait a minute, we already got something. Yeah. So who did it? Did it say somebody? I didn't. See got a, it did. Yes, it did. Not by it said Carla Crosby, CDA. 
has one. Is that person in here? I don't see them in here. There she is, but that's not the right one. Sorry, Carla. <laughs> that's not the right word. The word is, if we go up further, Tammy, uh, I'll show you who it is. It, sorry, Carla. Maybe the next one. It's um, the winner was for the word. Uh, what did I tell you? Well, Tammy, the word was cards. Yeah, and it was at, it was right away. Joanna C. Right. The first one that I seen that said cards. Right. Oh, so here we go. Joanna. Yeah, there, I can do well, that. Actually, it was me. Sam McDonald was first. Oh, so we'll do two winners then. Sam. <laughs> like, you know, you'll have to bear with us. Mm -hmm. up Where was it? Where's Sam's up higher? Sam's up at the top. Lisa, we skipped you because you've already won. Um, he likes oh, Lisa. Sam. Huh? And Sam. Okay, so Sam. we got, I better write yeah. these down. So you guys will have to send me Sam McDonald. And actually, uh, uh, it would Lisa's done one, so it actually would be Sam McDonald, and uh, the next one would be Carla Crosby CDA. Oh, well, she was right then. Okay. Well, I wonder if Sam or if uh, Sam's was in the first group, but anyway, that's fine. Sam, oh, maybe that's what happened. Let me look and see. No, Sam answered the same time. They're all at two twenty-nine p.m. Okay. All right. So we got Sam McDonald and we have Carla Crosby. So you guys are going to have to email and tell me you'll put that in there again, hopefully. Oh. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> mole, mole. Well, you know, this night bot, I'm not so sure about him. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it a different way next time. We can do a number. <laughs> Maybe we could go between different things. The first person to choose a number. That's one other thing he'll do. I'll try to see one next. Bernie says these cards are amazing. Aren't they cool? The winners, please email teampattyann at gmail.com with your um, email address. Well, we'll have your email address if you just email us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who wants to tell what they've been doing? <laughs> Has the, has the cat gone? I yeah, add yeah. some. <laughs> I'm adding some dots to make my stuff pop out from the card. I just put this thick, double sided strong bond, the thick, thicker, and just stick it on there. Cool. Okay, Linda, remember we were talking about a bunch of stuff before you got started, and I said, <laughs> okay, everybody, quit talking, save your chat. <laughs> Well, um, we've got a question for Stephanie. Oh, good. Uh, Barney wants to know what you're doing, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've just ink blended this and I've just used um, a glue pen just to make little dots and marks so that it actually looks like snow on the background. I used it for on the branch and I've used it for the berries at the bottom. Ooh. Patty, why don't you tell, uh, like, on the, uh, we were talking before the, the stream started about the program, how you can take the image from uh, the Digi Stamps and manipulate it. Okay. You mean Since share can, my screen just a little bit if I can? Yeah, just, a, you know, just really give them a bit of exactly what, what's going right. on. Show them the product. Okay. Hold on. Stephanie, is that alcohol inks that you're blending? Yes, yeah. I haven't tried that. I want to try that. And and my internet wasn't very good today, so I've had to move everything into my dining room. Um, and so I'm just thinking I'm clearing glitter up because when we eat next time, we'll be covered in glitter. <laughs> okay, so hopefully what you can see is this one little guy here. Can you see him, Tammy? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to bring in another one instead of that guy. Let me uh, merge a new one in just to show you how this goes. So these are, the, can you, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll just bring one in. Here's can see it. Robin. You can see my stuff I'm yeah. bringing in. We steal your software. Oh, okay. Okay. So I bring in this little guy, right? And in this software, he can be any size at all. I can make him huge. I can make him go on two sheets of paper if I want to. I can do anything mm -hmm. I want to with him. I can even color him in the software if I trace him first. 
if I don't want to trace him first and I just want to use him as a stamp or as like the ladies are doing here, coloring them or painting him or using markers. Um, and I want to go ahead and put an offset around him before I save him. Cause y'all have seen, let me show you, let me get a piece of darkness to put behind him, right click and send it to the back. Okay. That's what he looks like right now. Right. If I want to cut him out with a nice offset around him, all I have to do is come over here to the little offset panel, which is on the right hand side. And I have tons of videos showing y'all how to do this. You would just click on, click on him to select him, say offset. Do you see that offset I put around him? And I would just change its color to whatever color I'd want it to be. But of course I'd want mine to be white. And then I'll move that back out of the way. All I would do if I'm using the silhouette, so I'd probably uh, group these both together and just come up here to send. There's two lines here where it's going to cut. If I just wanted to cut one, I would say cut edge. Okay. And then it, I would print this first, stick it back in with the registration marks on, and then cut it. Uh, if you wanted to use this for Cricut Design Space, you just go to File, Save Selections, save it to the hard drive, and I would just name it Chick for Cricut Live. And I would save him as a JPEG. So I don't know if you're going to be able to fall. And I would leave all these numbers alone and say save. Now, Tammy, if I open Cricut, y'all probably aren't going to see this until it's not open yet. Do you see Cricut opening up? What you can not? do is stop that share and then uh, then go back and open your Cricut. Right. But I just didn't know if Cricut would show up on top I of this. I think it will. It's showing up right now. You see it installing? No, I don't. I think okay. you're going to have to stop the share and okay. start over. Okay. And while you're getting that ready, I was going to ask. Uh, Joan wants to know where did Linda get the fold pattern for her car? You mean the mechanism? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Um, I've watched videos. Patty Ann has a video. I've seen... Um, is it okay to say somebody else? I've, I've seen them on uh, various yeah. videos online. No, and we have that in the library. I'm not sure, Tammy, if we have that. Yeah. I, actually, um, I can show you how to do it. Oh, there you go. Okay. I've got, um, but I use a scoreboard because it's it's much simpler. And I just want to mention that, you know, um, one day when I was watching one of Patty Ann's videos, we were converting fractions into decimals. So I printed out a sheet. You can go online and print out sheets. And I just keep that next to me when I want to download uh, patterns into my silhouette. So, so here's my, here's my convenient um, conversion chart. <laughs> But here's what I do. I take a, for, and you can make any size you'd like for the, um, for the mechanism. But I chose to make a two and a half inch, um, two and a half inches um, high by um, 10 inches uh, long. So then I put that here in my scoreboard. And do you want me to do this or not? I mean, I don't know. Sure. Okay. So I score it at, um, where's my sheet well like this one but it's so fat but i'll use it anyway okay i scored this at five inches i scored it in the center and then i rotate it uh, clockwise and then i score it at um one and a quarter inches because this is two and a half inches and you want to get you know like a crosshair in the very center for your mechanism um, you need two pieces of paper this size that are um 10 by two and a half inches so after I score that in that position, um, then I keep it on. I actually keep this on my scoreboard and I, I go to one and a half inches beyond the middle score and I make a little notch, a little tick mark, we call them. And then to the to the left, I go one and a quarter inches, make a little score. I flip it around and I do the same thing. One and a quarter, um, uh, one and a quarter inch from the five inch mark and one and a quarter and then i just use those marks as um uh, just to keep my place i don't need my scoreboard anymore now i need the, the brayer i mean excuse me the um my bone folder just fold it nice and crisp 
uh, along all the score lines like this. And then I like to take something sharp and um, you see these are the little tick marks. We, we want to be folding, we want to be folding them actually at an angle toward the center of the, I hope that turned it to the center, the center score line, which is the, um, uh, on the, um, the, the length of the mechanism. And then you're going to take the little tick marks again, and you're going to also fold them. Excuse me. You know what? I think I screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can make a video for y'all and put it on. <laughs> no, it will. Here, here's here's one already made. Let me just show. Okay. You. See, you um, you, you do you make this is one and a quarter inch. This this score line is. I don't know if you can see that. We can. Yes, we can. Yeah. We can and so the, the way if you can make these score lines properly, then you take your you 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 pinch the two ends, and you actually fold this. I have these been full. You fold this in like a mountain position. Oh, hold on, please. <laughs> Here's another one. Hey, Patty, can you bring her forward, or is that how, can you have? Uh, hang on. Yeah, I think I can. Hang on. Someone's asking, can you bring it in a little closer? Oh, okay. does, does that do it? Nope. No? Like bring her full screen or whatever? Yeah, it is. It's full there screen. Is. Yeah. Okay. Can you, I'm pitching this. This is a valley and the, um, the uh, X marks, score marks are mountains. You just pinch them toward yourself and then together like that. And it forms this, it uh, looks like a little rocket ship. And then you score the rocket ship. And you take, let me, I, I actually have another card here. I can show you how it works. So you take the tip of the rocket in the center of the card, like this, and you put glue on the back of it. Okay. You just at the, t just, just at the, t just at the center of the score line, just a smidge under it, so that you have this flexibility to close your card. Then you take your glitter glue or whichever type you prefer and the other part of the rocket, you only get glue on that part and you close your card and this may create your mechanism like this, like so. Whoops. And then on this mechanism, you have that, remember I told you the same length of paper. So this is scored um, in the center at five. It's like two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. Uh, you, let me just... Let me just do it real quick. You want to pull this back now, Patty? Do back, go back to Cricket for a minute? Mm -hmm. Oh, put her back? Yeah, I was going to say put the other crafters back. Yeah. There you go. It's two and, and a half, two and a half, and two and a half, which is really two and a half inches, five inches, and seven and a half inches. I'm, gonna, um, I'm going to do a mountain fold in the center and then two valley folds like this. You take this piece, you glue it onto your mechanism. I'll do that really quickly. Just so I'm going, I'm going to glue the top in the top left hand corner, just a small amount of glue. And then in the last square, the bottom right hand corner of that square. And then I'm going, it's, this is a really simple part. And you just flatten it out like this, your piece, and press. Hold it there for a second. And then I take two inch blocks and put them in here and then, then you can decorate. But here's how the mechanism works. You, you, oh, it has to have the glue has to dry. <laughs> and there you have it. You open it up. Okay, put it up a little higher. Sorry. That's okay. 
Okay, yeah, I think that I actually, I think I do have a video mm -hmm. of that and it shows how to do it just in your software, not even using, I don't think, the scoreboard if you don't want to. Right. Yeah. Remembering correctly. I'll too. link it in the group. It's on YouTube. I'll link it in the group. Oh, you linked it in YouTube? Okay. I will. Okay. No, okay. I didn't link it in YouTube. Can you? I'm not sure. I'd have to. I, I looked it up on my phone. Here, I, I, I just messaged it to you, but let me see if I can do it. Hold on. Here it yeah. is. You got it. It's really a lot simpler oh. than I made it look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, while, while, while they're doing that, I'm going to run back to Cricut Design Space really quickly just to show you that. And then we'll continue on with everybody showing us how they're doing their cards. So here we are in Cricut Design Space for those of you that have it. And remember, I saved that thing that I put the offset on. So now I'm going to go to... Um, and I just remembered something. I didn't put the dark color on. We'll see if this works okay. Uh, I have one other tip I can show you if this doesn't work properly. So I'm going to go to Upload, Upload an Image, Browse. And I named him, oh, this one, Chick for Cricket Live. Okay, yeah, that worked. You see that offset on him? Ordinarily, I would make it a little bit lighter color. But I would just go to Complex now and say Continue. And this just shows how easily you can make offsets on stuff, whether it be text, if you're making uh, cake toppers or anything like this, just go continue. And there it is, save. And then all they would have to do is open this, insert it. Mm -hmm. And you are probably used to using Cricut Design Space. And if you're wondering, okay, how do I know where it's going to print and cut? As I've shown before, just come down here on the lower right where it says blank canvas and click this color swatch area right here to change the background color. And then you can see right where it's gonna cut. And then I could just go ahead and say, make it. And you can see it would be a perfect print and cut for a card or anything else that you want to make. That's how easy it is to use this program in with your Cricut. All right, so anyway, uh, let's see, who else? What are you up to, Beth? What's going on down there? Let's make your thing bigger. We'll, oops, not, not Linda, Beth. I'm, I'm back to coloring again. I love to color. I don't get into, I'm not the detailed, like Stephanie, I'm not that good yet. I hope to be one day, but uh -huh. I just, I'm just coloring with my markers. Yes, I'm, not good at, I'm not good at coloring, Beth. <laughs> oh, you are. That blending is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think it must be the pens. It's not me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I so think you sell yourself short. Yes, right? <laughs> So, Stephanie, show us where you are so far. What have you got done? Um, I've made the card now. I've just glittered the little berries. Um, and You've done all that while we were missing? <laughs> yeah, I've put the, the doors on. <laughs> uh, Stephanie, if you don't mind, uh, tell them why you were measuring before you put the doors on. Right, from experience that I did once before, I stuck the images on, and then when I came to close the doors, they wouldn't close because the card is six inches, but the aperture is only five. So I now measure to make sure that whatever images I've got that are raised up, when I close that door, it will fit inside the aperture. Okay. Otherwise, I'd say the first time I did it, I made a bigger image and I thought, oh, I could fill this. But then when I tried to close it, because of this frame, it pressed against it and the door wouldn't close. So now I always measure to make sure that whatever size card I'm doing, whatever the aperture is, that image, when I close the door, it goes inside it. Exactly. Okay, so now I'm wondering, how did you attach the door? So I missed that part. <laughs> Um, the I've I it's a three inch. This is a six inch card, so it's three inches, and I scored. I, I cut it at three and a half inches, six inches in depth, but three and a half inches in width, and scored it at half an inch so that it made an actual frame. And I use red liner tape because that's really really strong. This sort of tape. Mm -hmm. Um. It's really good for construction work or anything like that. I used red liner tape, but I also put a little bit of glue on the top um, so that it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Because if you just put the red liner tape on and you start to stick it, the minute it touches, it grabs it. And then 
you you would actually tear it to take it off because it's so strong. So I always put a little bit of glue on top, then that just gives you a little bit of wiggle room to actually to do it. Okay, gotcha. And so now you're making the belly band? I'm going to make the belly band to go around it now, yes. Patty it's Joanne good. says you've got to watch the replay. Yeah, all right, you're right. <laughs> too busy trying to get night bought or somebody to work, right? <laughs> and ladies, all, right. all the uh, comments are saying that the cards are gorgeous and pretty. Yes. Okay, so. we have a guest who's going to try to join us. And actually, our guest is the lady who designed these stamps for us and does all the designing. So if y'all have some questions, she's going to uh, join us. So maybe, Stephanie, at this point, your camera, if your computer is still connected. Me, yes, take please. Off, yeah. Yay. Did she get it? Okay, here's Dina. She's coming in. All righty. Hi. So this is Dina, everybody. She's the lady who designed these gorgeous stamps that we're using and the stamps that you'll, uh, if you won the gift or certificate that you get. And don't forget, the stamps on her site until midnight tonight are 25% off. So Dina, take it away. You have something you'd like to tell us? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just really uh, want to congratulate you all for starting this Digi Club. I think it's going to be really great for all our followers and for beginners and experienced people as well. And I just thank you for giving me the opportunity to hop on with you while you're creating. Everything looks amazing right now. Right. Tell them about how, why you designed the um, parables. Well, I originally designed the parables to give some some length to some of my digi stamps. I mean, you could always combine dig digi stamps, but I thought it would be really fun to have some sets that people could design a full card with or maybe make several cards out of one set and then mix and match them with other other parables. So that was the basis of that. And it seems to be a hit. People really like the parables. I yeah. love them. Yes. It's like mm -hmm. if you look at Joni's card, y'all, she not only has the mailbox, but she has the little guy flying by. And did you did you see hers with all the envelopes that she made flying like as if they were falling? Yeah, hold it up. I wish I knew how to make that person bigger. Do you know? Tammy? Yeah, let me do it. Okay, Just thank you. Because I kept getting uh, Linda's larger. There you go. Oh, isn't that precious? See, that's what she did. So in the stamp set, y'all, if you understand, she got the little guy at the top, the branch. But close it back up for one sec. And she got a, one envelope and the uh, mailbox down here. And she got the font or the text. And she was able to design that in silhouette, put it all together. She must be an artiste because that... I, <laughs> Looks really nothing. I think it looks amazing, Joni. I'm a nervous trick over it. Oh, and so now let us see the down, the one below that you're working on too. Wow. So I just took the pieces that I cut out from the software and I just attached it to a regular card base, and you can adjust it however you like. Where I sit it up further, or you know, add a little uh, embossing powder and made it look like snow glistening. Right. Yeah. I and see I was, the sparkle. Yeah, it looks amazing. And I showed showed how you can put patterns into the little cap and the oh, little bird here. And so, for those of you that do stamps, the beauty of this also is you don't have to buy the die cuts to go with digital stamps. Mm -hmm. You can just cut those with your machine or by hand. If you don't mind cutting by hand, you can do either way. Oh, and, oh look, at Lisa says she just recently ordered the jungle ones. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yeah. Sweet. Don't forget to share all your creations in our Digi Doodles group. Oh, that's right. Yes. Y'all join her group, Digi Doodle Doodles. What what is it for Facebook? Digi Doodle Studios. Okay, on Facebook. Okay. And then you'll see, yeah, there'll be two. There'll be one just the regular <laughs> page, and then there'll be the group page where you actually have to join. Okay. And that's where we hold uh one of our monthly challenges. So anything they create that has to do with Digi Doodles, they can enter it every month there and win free Digi Doodles. So you see Mamie's comment. She says, your drawings are adorable, Dina. Oh, thank you, Mamie. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me go back to this. Okay, let's go back to there so we can see everybody again. 
All righty. Who ha, can you spotlight somebody else's cards? What they've done so far, Tammy? Because I seem yeah. to be not so great at that. <laughs> so thank you. Let's take a Beth. Are you done? I'm pretty well done. I am. Okay. okay. Let's spotlight Beth's card. Okay. Spotlight. Yeah. Oh, that's I precious. Just, I printed them and then I colored them with markers and added this one of your sentiments up here. Now I did emboss the outer frame that I put and then I just added some little sequins and glitter to their and glitter to the snow and I like to have a surprise on the inside when you open oh, it yeah. and you can write your that is so cute yeah. Beth great job thank mm. you thank you love the DGs mm. Yolandi says thank you for the great oh, stamps <laughs> you're welcome Yolandi yeah Oh, and Tina loves the envelopes falling. And Lisa said she loves your card, Beth. Thank you. And Barbara said it's really cute. And Roxana said it's adorable. Carl oh, says and she's Carla. Yeah. green. Yeah. Okay. Whoopsie, I need to cross that one off. Okay. All right. You want to spot? Let's see. Um, Linda's and Stephanie. Linda, you're done. Uh, yeah, I've, I'm finished mine. Okay, let's, right. like so here's here's the front. I just used an embossed mat um, over a navy blue background. I put some of the pine branches on the top, and I pulled this uh, cedar shingle pattern into the um, the bird house, uh, and um, that was actually an ad uh, for shingles that I pulled oh, off. <laughs> It was an image on Google, and um, I was able to make it a pattern. It was it's so much fun using that silhouette business edition. Mm, so that was re that was resized. Most everything was resized. I made little t just a little teeny envelope, special delivery for the happy mail, and then you open it up and I, oh. I want to use all your stamps, Dina, just to highlight everything in the set. <laughs> that is so fabulous. Right. I love that little surprise when you open up your card. Right. It's cute. Thank you. So, and also, as Dina had told us that, you know, she also has digi papers or digi mm -hmm. patterns I that do. you can add. Matter of fact, on one of mine that I did, let's see if I can show you this. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to make myself come. Oh, I, I do. Yeah. I gotta start my Open up your camera, Patty. Yeah, I know. Start I'm trying, but I got to get rid of cricket cancel. Start my cam. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I made this one. Oh, but that one's not using hers because that was before I knew she had it. Here's one that I made this card, oh, and oh. I used her pattern paper here for this yeah. little polka dotty stuff around the side, and that's her. That's cute. Isn't that cute? I but see, these, this is why I like the parables because you get this guy thing, and you get this, and mm -hmm. you get the words, and just oh, that's cute. cute. You, it's like getting a real a real, real stamp set, but yet you can. Just, Size these any size you want them to be and add offsets if you want to color them online or color them with anything you want. They're perfect. I love them. Yeah. This is one I did at first, but I messed it up. Oh, isn't that cute though? <laughs> but that's the clucker club. Yeah, yeah, the clucker club. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't color it very well. And then look, I was putting stickles on it, and I'm horrible with stickles. Aww. I just put my elbow in them every time. So anyway. I love it. It looks great. I laughed when I was oh, oh you are the tweet. <laughs> That is so adorable. But you guys, you got to check out these. And like I said, by you know, at tonight at midnight, the sale will go off. Mm -hmm. So you can get them for twenty five percent off now. But even before, I mean, even so, they're a great deal. Especially if you, hey, we're saving the environment too. You know, yeah. By well, not the uh, all the stamps that they have to make. I was going to say to too. Wait, what, what we. Another great feature of Digi Stamps is you don't have to worry about where you're going to store them. You just, you know, <laughs> store them in your file. You don't have tons of stamps all over your house or your That's room. Or, excellent point. It's and not just, only the stamps, but the, the die cuts as well. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And it's easy to categorize them and keep everything really neat and organized. Right. So, But Mark I love that you can resize them. A lot of times, if I have a stamp, I think I need this bigger. But if it's not a DG stamp, you're stuck. Right. 
And Barbara wanted to know, is there a code for the 25% off? Yes, the code until midnight is DDSOCT20. Okay, let me put it in D there. DDS for Digi Doodle Stamps, then what? OCT for October. October. 20. 20. So it's 20% off, but it's 25% off, right? It's 25% oh, off. 20, 20. Okay. Got that? 25% off everything in the store. Okay, there you go. Uh, Tammy actually put that in for us in our chat. Here, Thank I'll you, I can Tammy. put it up here. There you go. It's up here too. D D S O C T twenty. So Mamie, because Mamie was also asking. Yeah, you guys, you're gonna love this. And and you know, if you watch the beginning of the um, video or the intro to doing our Digi Club, mm -hmm. um, I show how to change some things up in these. And we're going to use her stamps again next time. You know, we're going to do this twice a month. We're going to do it on the second and fourth Sunday of every month. And we'll let you know in advance what stamp we're going to use. Because maybe you'd like to purchase the stamps and work along with us. Sounds great. Yeah. You're welcome, Barbara. <laughs> what you working on, Stephanie? Oh, yeah. Let's I'm go finished. back. I'm yeah. finished, Tommy. <laughs> oh, all right. We can watch Stephanie. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. All right, you ready? Yep, yep. All right. Let's so make, make it solo. All right, okay. here we are. So I've made the uh, belly band to go around. Um, apart from the holly, um, all of the stamps, the Dina's stamps, I've tried to incorporate them all. I think I've just one leaf I've left out. Um, so the belly band obviously comes out up. So that the card... Mm -hmm. Opens up and oh, that is it's, gorgeous. It's stunning. Oh. I love it, Stephanie. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? That is so pretty, Stephanie. I was telling my husband about your card. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that gorgeous? It is so pretty. Thank you. And now I see it all finished. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all managed to finish on time, which was brilliant. It is. <laughs> Uh, Roxanne has a question for you, Dina. She wants to know if she bought the stamp earlier, is there a way she can still use the code? If she, no, I mean, it, it's only it good for us. I had it going all week long and it only will work once, you know, it only, you can't combine it with other things. So if she hadn't used it this week, she won't be able to use it, but there'll be others. I usually run a discount every month depending on what i'm releasing so and i will have a new release in november cool and there will be parables with that release great and okay, let's see was there yeah, they said they love your card it's beautiful <laughs> thank you yeah. yeah okay do any of you have any other further questions or anything should we try to do nightbot one more time yeah. Or shall I give up on him? Wait a minute, I'm gonna try one more thing. Wait a I don't understand. I think <laughs> I'm gonna have to research this, you guys, because I'm not sure how to use him. Hey, Stephan or uh, Tammy, I'm gonna I'm gonna um text you a number, okay. and the first person that comes up with this number will be the final winner. Okay. All yeah. right, ready, you guys. Just start texting in some or messaging in some numbers, whatever, commenting in. I'm in a number. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be doing this the real way, but it somehow it didn't. Don't say, I won't say roll with it because that okay, means. Hey, Barbara Drake, we got a winner. Really? Barbara Drake, number 25. Oh, she oh. did. All oh. right, number 25. Barbara, you win. All right. Congratulations. So we have your email. Congratulations, <laughs> but if, Barbara. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Unless anybody else has anything they want to add, Tammy, are you able to show your card or you're just going to put it in the group? I'll just put my card in the group. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll share it in the group. I'll share it in your group too, Dina. Oh, that's a good Great. idea. Yes, y'all go ahead and put your picture, your uh, cards in Dina's group as well. That'd be terrific. Yeah. And enter them in the album for October. You'll find that in the file section. Because okay. you'll get a chance to win a free digi doodle if you do that. All right. <laughs> All right. So.
Okay, well, anybody else have anything to add? Jesse says it's a good live. And John Miller says that was fun. Thanks to everyone. Yeah. And so what, what would be the date, uh, Patty Ann, for the second? The next, uh, one, doing? The next one? Yeah. Because you guys will be doing it unless you cannot. <laughs> See, the next one is... <laughs> We figured it'd be better to have the same people a couple of times because you, you know how hard it was for us to figure out how to do all this. Anyway, the next one will be November 9th. Oh, no, no, the 8th, the 8th. That's the second the Sunday. Next Sunday is our Patreon class for those of you on Patreon. And then the Sunday after that will be our next Digi Doodle thing. <laughs> By the way, you girls, if you want to turn your cameras back on now, you can. Okay. Well, I'll be able to see you at the end. Now it'll kick somebody. It won't let them all because there's 10 people already in here. Well, I can step out so y'all can talk. Oh, all right. <laughs> Bye, and Dina. Thanks for stopping. Thanks for having me. Thank you, everybody. Your cards are amazing. Thanks, Dina. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. 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 All right, anybody's going to pop their camera back on? They'll come back on and tell the, let, tell the group bye. Oh, there they come. There they come. Ooh, here come our designers. You bring your computer Stephanie back on. Campus, I'll have to bring here. mine back on, won't I? Because I yes, yes. yes. I, was, I was kicked out. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. We needed to make room for Dina. We can only have 10 people, 10 cameras on at once. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. This is really nice watching everyone. Hey, Joni. <laughs> oh, great, Carla. Thanks. Hope y'all join us again in what two weeks, I guess it is. Yeah, sweet. Okay, we're waiting for Steph to come back in. Roxy. You'll, have to let, you'll have to let me come in. I'm in the I'm in the waiting room. Oh, yeah. right. I'm on the bottom. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. Hey, hello to Stephanie, everybody. All right. Hey. All right. So we got everybody here now. Are y'all bold enough and brave enough to try this again? I'll try to learn night sure. before, before next time. Yeah. All right. I, think, we'll yeah. have to get now, right. I just I just want to this say very real quick, fun. all of your cards are simply amazing. Right. The versatility <laughs> and the creativity from yeah. each one of your cards are just stunning. Yeah. And, did a good job. and for me and Patty, we thank you. Yes. <laughs> good job. It was fun. Thanks. All right. So here's your here's your uh, challenge. Look on DigiDoodle Studio's site and see what, uh, maybe we should do another one of the parables. See which parables you guys think you might like to use for our next challenge. And, uh, you know, if we can come to a consensus, is that the word? <laughs> well, hey, we yeah. can all vote. <laughs> uh, yeah. We have to do it November 3rd. <laughs> do what? Oh, yeah, November 3rd, right. <laughs> so, okay. And you guys here, if you're here in the uh, watching and you go look at her stuff. Let us know if you have one that you'd like us to use and show you what we can come up with for one of the parables or one of her digi doodles. And in future, um, maybe some of you would be interested in being one of the designers. Right. Yeah. If so, um, send an email to Team Patty Ann or let us know in the groups. But uh, yeah, just let us know. I'm sure there's plenty of talent out there amongst us. Right. Yeah, like Joan. Ah. <laughs> oh, I know Roxy's been making cards for a long time, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Tina. T oh, yeah. Everybody. Oh. When, you, uh, when you feel like you're able to do it, let us know. We'll be glad to have you. Okay. Guess that's it. Thanks, you guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs>